Hey guys, so uh, for those who don't know me, this is Joanne Smythe with my celiac journey. And uh, you know, with the whole purpose of all this is to share with others and uh, if you can relate or if I can help you guys in any way, then I feel like I've done a good thing. So with that in mind, uh, I'm gonna be doing some videos and stuff not only about my story, uh, you know, how it's gone for me with my journey with celiac disease and ulcerative colitis. But I'm also going to be sharing products that I have found that I have gotten relief or help from. Uh, guys, I'm very honest. You know, I don't back very many products. And the ones I do, it's because it actually has helped me. So, um, you know, if it takes, you know, I wish someone had done this for me because trust me, I've spent thousands of dollars on all different types of natural medicines, you know, herbs and vitamins and all kinds of stuff. And trust me, not all is created equal. And, uh, you know, the, for the few that I have found that work really well for me, I'm really happy with. So I just want to share with you guys. So if it takes a little bit of frustration out of you guys having to try all kinds of different stuff to find relief, then again, I feel like I've done something good. So let's jump in. Um, you know, prior to being diagnosed with celiac disease, as well as uh, probably for my first year after my diagnosis, uh, and even when I get um uh, cross-contaminated where I've accidentally taken in uh, or ingested gluten uh, due to others preparing a meal or something that maybe they didn't know it had gluten hidden somewhere in something one of the ingredients they use uh, you know I will get cross-contaminated and I get sick um, one of my biggest symptoms that's very difficult for me is like the indigestion and uh, you know they, they said I had GERD I had acid re reflux you know, this is prior to me actually being diagnosed with celiac. Um, but, you know, I they kept prescribing me all sorts of different prescription drugs and stuff for acid, acid reflux, GERD, all kinds of stuff, indigestion, so on and so forth. Nothing worked. You know, at one time I was taking three or four of them at a time and, you know, I had hor horrible insurance. So, you know, they were ranging somewhere between $50, about $35 to, I think the highest price one was like $250 for one for a month supply. That's insane. So, um, and I had no relief. Nothing was working. So, um, on top of that, I was, I, I, I don't know if you can tell how big this bottle of Tums is. I mean, this is an older bottle. I pulled it out of my cabinet, but... I don't know, it's like seven and three, just under eight inches tall. Uh, it has like 330 tablets of Tums. Uh, at my worst point, I was eating like a full container of this a month. That's 330 of these, plus I was on prescriptions. Nothing was working. Absolutely nothing was working. And when I was diagnosed with celiac disease, um, you know, they basically said it was diet change. There was no cure for it. So I learned very quickly on that I was on a mission to find things that could help me naturally because uh, nothing that was prescribed ever, ever helped. And so I knew that my food had to change. Uh, I had to avoid gluten. Um, but I also realized the importance of vitamins and minerals and how our body needs, you know, there's like 90 of different vitamins and minerals that your body needs to stay healthy. Um, you know, on top of alkalinity and your pH level and, you know, there's so many different things. And I'll, I'll cover more of this sort of stuff that, I, that I've gone through myself. Um, but I knew it was going to have to be something like natural other than just diet change. I was going to have to figure something out to get some relief. And, you know, this isn't to tell, you know, let me get this out right now. I'm not a doctor. You know, my story, this is all my story, my experience, what's helped me. It's it's me personally that have has had, re, you know, great reviews with it and stuff. You know, it's not going to, I'm not telling you don't talk to your doctor, don't talk, take your medications. You know, you have to do what's right for you. I always say, do your own research, talk to your doctors, you know, do what's right for you. Okay, this is this is what's right for me and what I choose to do. And I'm sharing it with you guys. Maybe it'll work for you guys. Maybe you should try it. Maybe you shouldn't. It's totally up to you. I don't care what you do. I'm just giving you some information that has helped me with my journey with celiac disease and, um, you know, what I've gotten some relief out of it and stuff. So let me jump in. Um, you know, with all my prescriptions and everything, you know, it was it was very, very expensive and nothing, like I said, was working. Um, you know, I'd done some research and I ran across an article 
about indigestion and, and uh, people with uh, like GERD, acid reflux, stuff like that. And it was something so simple as, as this product. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't benefit anything from this product. Okay. I, I'm not affiliated or anything. You know, I just, I've used it. I have gotten great relief out of it. And so I'm sharing that with you guys. So, you know, I had done some research. I came across some articles and stuff about how apple cider vinegar is really great for a lot of different uh, ailments and stuff like that. It's really good about keeping you healthy. So, you know, I was desperate. I was in so much pain. I was so sick and tired. I was stressed out. I was having horrible anxiety because I was in so much pain. I was, you know, my my health care costs were out to just unbelievable because I was constantly going to the emergency room because I had all this pressure and miserable pain in my chest. And, you know, I, I said, what the heck, you know, what is this? Six bucks, six ninety nine maybe. Uh, I found it for as low as four ninety nine. So versus my 35 to 50 to $250 pills that I was taking for prescriptions, not to mention all these tums that I was eating, you know, um, for six ninety nine, I said, "What the heck?" And I actually, I think I got it here at my local store for like five bucks. So, I I got some, and um, you know, I was excited. I was like, "Oh, I, let's try it," you know. So, I I got me like I want to say it was like a twelve ounce glass of cold water, and I put a tablespoon of this in there, and I went to drink it. And I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I wanted to spit it out because it tastes horrendous. Just, you know, you're putting vinegar and you're drinking vinegar, okay? It's gross. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I was determined. So what I did was I broke out. I'm, I'm a big believer in natural, uh, like raw, unfiltered honey because I think it has a lot of great health benefits in there as well. So in that cup where I put a, t a tablespoon of the uh, Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar uh, in it, I added some raw, unfiltered honey which sweetened it up a bit and still didn't taste good. But I basically held my nose and I pounded it. So I, I started drinking this, um, you know, two, two to three times a day, you know, as often as I could. I would, I would mix it up pre previous, uh, like if I was going to be out for the day, um, I would go ahead and put it in a water bottle and add a little honey in there and stuff. And I would just drink it, you know, when I was ready to throughout the day. So I would drink it roughly two to three times a day. Uh, for about my first week and I was amazed my it, it definitely helped I wasn't I was still feeling some but it wasn't to the degree or the extent that it was prior to me taking this um, you know over the first few weeks I, I start I stopped taking my other medications and I just continued with this and I'm telling you I, I I'm amazed you know I'm amazed at how how much relief I got from this. I no longer, by, by the first, by, by my first month of doing this a couple times a day, um, I didn't have any indigestion. I didn't have acid reflux. I didn't have any problems whatsoever uh, in, that, in, the, in the respect to what I was dealing with prior. Uh, and I was no longer on any of the prescriptions or anything like that. Again, this is my story, guys. This is my story. This is what I did. This is what helped me. Please, do you know talk to your doctors do what's right for you do your own research i'm just giving you something to think about here you know you do as you see fit based on you and your health so um but i but i'm excited i'm really happy and you know uh you know i took this probably for my first year or so after being di diagnosed with celiac disease on a regular basis where i was drinking it uh two to three cups a day and then i started uh, you know, decreasing that where I would, I was down to like, uh, I don't know, eight ounces of water. And then with a little, with one tablespoon of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar and a little bit of honey. And then I was down to, you know, like eight ounces uh, a day for, you know, several months or whatever. But anyway, so, um, yeah. So once I did that, I, I mean, I, I continually decreased it and then I, I didn't have to take it anymore for the most part. Now, if I get cross-contaminated or if I do eat something that might have a little bit of spice, I, I may pull it out. I always keep it in my cabinet. As you see, it's still, you know, got some in there. But uh, at first, I was going through quite a bit because I drank a lot of it. But, uh, you know, I just really do it on occasions when I need it now. 
but uh, you know I, I don't take the prescriptions and I don't hurt and that's that's what's I, to me is the most important thing right um you know a few uh, probably a few months after I started this and I started realizing the differences I actually came across this book it was like at Sam's or Costco or something but it says apple cider vinegar it says miracle health system and it's pretty amazing I mean this this tells you a lot of different things that it's good for and for health and stuff um, they have a lot of the Bragg's book promote uh, they promote different types of they have a bunch of little books like this they're paperback they're real thin but um, you know on the back side you can see some of the other um, things that they have in there and they have different ailments and stuff in this book but uh, you know, I, I, I thought it was funny because, you know, I, I had found this on my own and, and I had already started doing it. And then I saw a book on it. So, of course, I had to buy it. But um, but it has a lot of great things for, for health, you know, health ailments and stuff. And it helps uh, naturally help you. So, to me, I'm about natural because, you know, I, I, I have always found that, you know, our bodies usually can fight off and do a lot of stuff on its own if it's if it's got the proper nutrients, proper pH, and so on and so forth. So um, anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Again, it's it's my my um, testimony, you know, what has helped me. Uh, will it help you? I don't know. You, I guess you won't know unless you try it, but it's up to you. Do your own research. Talk to your doctor, you know, but for me, uh, you know, anything natural uh i'm definitely down to try uh i've done a lot i've tried a lot of different stuff actually um but i but it worked you know so so this has been a lifesaver for me and it's given me uh, my life back really because i was to the point where i was just in bed in terrible pain all the time and and this is this has made all my stomach uh issues as long as i'm not gluten now if i get gluten then that's another ball game I, it's back to this for sure but, uh, you know, I don't have to take this on a daily basis anymore. And so so I'm really excited about that. I'm really happy. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I do a lot of posting on the celiac groups and stuff on Facebook. And I've mentioned this to many people. So uh, I kind of want to do a video about it so you guys heard it from me directly. Uh, you know that it has helped me. Uh, and maybe it can help you. But again, do your own research. I'm not saying don't take your pills, talk to your doctor, you know, but it doesn't hurt to try something natural. What's it, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to, in my perspective, for me and in my opinion, I don't think it's going to hurt you. So, but, um, again, you know, do your own research and talk to your own doctors. And, and so, yeah, so this was, um, um, uh, a great, um, video that I wanted to do for you guys and I'm going to be adding more about my journey and things that have helped me and um, you know I, I, if I can get anybody to relate to the what I, I have done or what I've gone through or if I can help or encourage or inspire or just you know give you confidence that it's going to get better you know or whatever it is you know that's my whole purpose here of, of sharing my story with you guys and so um yeah, so I'll be doing more videos uh, with different different types of stuff, and, and I hope you guys tune in. You can follow me on Facebook. I'll put my link in the uh, bottom here. I also have a YouTube page that you can like and subscribe to, and uh, I'd like for you guys, uh, you know, I always appreciate feedback, or if you have, uh, you know, a topic that you want to cover or something about it, celiac disease, autoimmune disease, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, I'm always interested in, in hearing from others. So I look forward to the next one. And I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time.